Welcome back to Turf Talk International Hall of Fame Edition. Vance, a couple of topics we'll t uh, touch on. One will be a recurring theme we'll get to after we talk about the Dubai World Cup coming up on Saturday. I told you I'd, we'd talk Dubai. I'm going to put you on the spot because I didn't tell you what the question would be. It seems like there's a lot of debate, horses coming back from Dubai racing in the U.S., detriment or overblown? Uh, it depends on the horse, I think, a little bit. Uh, we've seen horses like Curlin come back, run their very best in the United States. We've seen a horse like California Chrome kind of fade, fade away you know, you know, due to injuries and stuff like that. So I think it all kind of depends on who the horse is and yeah. his, his personal constitution. I, I agree. I mean, I, I think, granted, now we're going into, what is this, the 21st Dubai World Cup, something like that. Uh, but still, it's somewhat of a short sample size. I mean, at most, you're talking, what, half a dozen horses a year. And, you know, they're just so different. I mean, they stand up to training and medication regimens and weather, uh, all different. So, t to me, I'd need to see all that stuff plotted, basically, and then maybe make some decisions. And to me, it's not enough of an issue to, to go through that work. But I, I'm, I agree. I think some horses... Uh, just don't come back as well as others and there's money to be made if you can figure out which of those horses are because when they do well over there they get bet when they come over here uh, but like you said some are like Curran, Curlin uh, Invisor came back he won the Pimlico special uh, was that like six weeks later so it can be done it can be done and Cigar the very first Dubai World Cup winner proved that he could go on and have a spectacular season after coming back of course he's a Hall of Fame type horse uh, not too many World Cup winners since then that have been American-based have gone on to be Hall of Fame horses, but the, the truly best will carry the reform forward through us. Probably the year. Curlin, with, well, Silver Charm. Cur I Curlin guess, and Silver Fame, Charm, yeah. but uh, yeah, if California Chrome comes back at the very best of his form, potential Hall of Famer. You sure. Know. Well, and speaking of the Hall of Fame, that brings us to our next. Uh, we'll call it a mini feature. We can't let it drag on forever because eventually we actually will have to vote uh, but we thought it'd be fun to look at the finalists for the racing hall of fame we talked about it a few weeks ago when they came out um, basically count down not necessarily in a particular order uh, but give a sense for who we will not be voting for before we get to the decision of who we are i have it narrowed down i'm not completely sure who i'm actually going to cast that ballot for i don't think there's any drama for us to say rachel alexander and zenyatta our surefire Hall of Famers. From there, though, I'm not really sure what direction you'll go in. One direction I'm not going in, and this is no surprise, we talked about it before, but for me, the first act is English Channel. Yeah, uh, when the nominees came out and I looked at the list, there was one name that just didn't fit in there, and I thought it was English Channel, which you and I have already talked about. Uh, 2007 champion Turf Maley won the Breeders' Cup Turf by seven lengths. It was kind of a weird race, though. It was running an absolute bog at Monmouth Park. He beat horses like Red Rocks that had previously defeated him in the Breeders' Cup turf on firm ground the previous year. Uh, when you look at English Channel's record, it was very, very good, but he was good enough to win an Eclipse Award that particular year. I don't think his career mark stands up compared to other grass horses that have made the Hall of Fame or even some that haven't even been considered. I look back at horses like Theatrical, Paradise Creek, Coda Shan in the 80s and 90s. I think all of them were generally superior to a horse like English Channel, but their names have never been brought up for Hall of Fame consideration. Yeah, I was surprised to see English Channel on there. I actually thought Gio Pani would get on there as a first ballot consideration. Not saying he would have gotten in, but to me he had... Uh, the better career and I looked it was only one more grade one win but you know the multiple Arlington Millions he beat Wise Dan it just seemed more distinguished and uh, Kota Shan you mentioned uh, Horse of the Year yes. uh, the year Arkong uh, won the Breeders Cup Classic of course the year English Channel won the Turf Curlin won the Classic so that was a obvious Horse of the Year choice in 07 but yeah I mean a, a great career we said it before you'd love to have the horse but when I think Hall of Fame it just didn't quite get to that measuring stick so in the words of Shark Tank for me, I'm out. I'm out too. <laughs> All right, there you go. We'll be back next week with another Turf Talk and another elimination from our ballot. We'll be back later in the week uh, to look at the Kentucky Derby Championship Series 100-point races, uh, Louisiana Derby and UAE Derby. So join us then.